Hello everyone, in this video I am talking about the problem of impossible transportation routes. What do I mean by this particular thing is that in a transportation problem some routes are prohibited and the transportation cannot reach and the cost becomes absolutely large or nearly equal to infinite. So how to solve these kind of problems? So if I look into this particular problem right here, so I have three resources or three factories and I have three uh, markets or warehouses where the shipment has to be sent. And these are the transportation costs for a better understanding of this problem you can uh, look into my previous videos where i have solved uh, certain transportation problems so uh, these are the requirements these are the availabilities that means factory one has a capacity to produce 10 units factory two has a capacity to produce 15 units while factory three has a capacity to produce 14 units and uh, if i look into the requirement of markets market a has a requirement 20 units B has of 15 units and C has a requirement of 30 units. So if I look into the total of uh, production which is 65 units have been produced and 65 units are uh, required so it is a balanced transportation problem. Now I'm going to look into the transportation costs to do 2 rupees or uh, 20 rupees or 2000 or 200 whatever you want to multiply it with is the cost of shipping one unit from factory 1 to market 1 market A. And this like if I any entry can be understood this way like if I talk about this four then this is the cost of shipping one unit from factory two to market a and this is this is the main thing here right here so it shows that this is an impossible or prohibited tra transportation route so in so many books you would see it uh, as prohibited transportation route so it's prohibited or impossible transportation route you can think of same way so it could be like there is too much snow on the way probably there are lockdowns or any other situations of such kind so moment i try to send a shipment from factory 3 to source uh, to market uh, c the whole uh, shipment gets lost and the route is impossible and that means shipment cannot reach so if the whole shipment is lost then the cost becomes infinitely large so let's solve this particular problem and i'm going to use the, one of the most effective methods of solving transportation problem that is vogel's approximation method on this particular sheet right here so um, and a allo allotted a value m here where the impossible transportation route was that simply is going to give me an idea that this is the largest amount in the all transportation costs which are available in the table that means it's very large very huge so uh, i'm going to use vogel's approximation method i have done two questions on it before also you can feel list uh, refer to my previous videos so i'm going to calculate the penalties first of all that is going to be minimum and second minimum so if i look into the minimum is two second minimum is three i keep on receiving the comment that if there are two twos so if i look into the thing yes there is a standoff between these two but there are there is a minimum which is two and second minimum is three so difference is going to be one it's not about two minus two because these two are the minimum quantities now here again minimum and second minimum two minus one which is one the third penalty is three minus one that is two now here it is going to be 2 minus 1 minimum and second minimum and minimum and second minimum 1 again and minimum and second one minimum 3 minus 2 is 1 so if I look into the case there are two twos one two uh, sorry this this and then I have to search the largest of the penalties which is this two so I'm going to enter from here in the minimum cost cell I'm going to make an allocation here out of minimum of supply and demand that means market has a requirement of 20 while plant has a capacity to supply 40 but since market demands only 20 so I'm going to supply 20 here so uh, when I'm going to calculate penalty P2 the requirements of this markets are fulfilled so I don't need it here again it is going to remain minimum and second minimum which is 2 minus 1 which is 1 again minimum and second minimum that is 3 minus 2 remains 1 now here the things are going to change a bit P2 okay I'm going to call them dash P1 dash P2 dash now how do you calculate p2 uh, i'm not going to consider this particular market right here why i won't consider it because all the requirements of this markets have been satisfied so it has no role to play in further solution so it is going to be 3 minus 2 that is 1 2 minus 1 going to remain 1 now this is exactly m minus 3 and this is the largest quantity because m is a large number very large so it is always the largest right so it could be like you can take out like thousand two thousand it could be entire shipment cost 
because the shipment is not reaching so i'm going to make an entry from here look into the minimum cost cell one has already been allocated now i'm going to make some allocation in here which is exactly uh, factory three has the remaining quantity of 20 units factory three has a remaining quantity of 20 units while market b requires 15 so i can ship all of them 15 right here so uh, when i'm going to calculate the third penalty the requirement of market a is fulfilled requirement of market b is fulfilled and the requirement of market c is still left minimum second minimum 3 minus 2 is 1 and uh, here i'm going to calculate the third penalty once again and that is again going to be now now i'm left only with one particular uh, row here because this market's requirements are fulfilled these requirements are fulfilled so any which ways i'm going to write it like 3 2 and m there's no minimum second minimum is left so uh, again i'm going to make an entry from here and uh, this entry is going to be in this particular cell right here because i'm left only with this cell so 20 35 have already been shipped the factory is only left with five units and it requires though 30 but i am in a capacity to serve only five units because factory was having 40 so all 40 units of this factory are shipped p4 dash these things are clear already i have explained before and now how it is going to remain is since this is done so it is 3 minus 2 1 still and here it is going to be uh, same 3 2 now the largest quantity is 3 i'm going to make an entry from here the only cell left where i can enter is here 3 because i cannot here enter in 2 this market is done this market is done so i'm going to make some entry here we got 10 units with this factory the requirement is 30 i'm going to allocate all 10 so when i'm going to calculate p5 all the ship um, material is shipped from this factory from this factory also it's been exhausted only two is left and uh, p5 dash probably the last thing which i'm going to calculate only two is left so it doesn't matter it hardly matters from where i enter this is exactly 15 so i think yes this 30 is fulfilled this is fulfilled and that's it i've solved it by using google's approximation method you can uh, use or uh, test it for optimality by using vogel's approximation method just assume or consider that m is large and it is the largest transportation cost in this problem thank you it's prohibited transportation without problem solved if i look into the transportation cost here how it is going to be it is going to be uh, a little tricky here so uh, 3 into 10 if i'm talking about cost transportation cost 3 times 10 plus 2 times 15 uh, plus 1 times 20 plus 3 times 15 plus 5 times m so that is going to be 30 30 20 45 plus 5 m and that can be just a minute, hold on. So, the overall transportation can be written as 125 plus 5 m. m is actually very large, huge, uh, it is indeterministic, it is very large cost, it could be infinitely large. Thank you very much.